Well, it's uh, that time of the year when uh, everyone starts to think about uh, the dreaded spring clean. It doesn't have to be a chore. With the right, we don't have to do it. Uh, with, the <laughs> with the right tips, though, it can be liberating. <laughs> yeah, it shows how to ditch the clutter and put your life back in order is organiser to the stars, Vicky Silverthorne. Good morning to good you. Good morning to you both. So, when, wh why is spring a good time to spring clean? I think everybody feels it's a really good time to have a fresh start. Right. So, everybody wants to get their, their homes in order, get rid of everything they don't need, ready for the summer, ready for the good weather, yes. ready to enjoy their houses again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. where do you start? Where do you start? You start small, that's the key. So you stop looking at it as one giant task, stop looking at your home as something, you know, you've got to go and sort this weekend. And what you want to do instead is, is take your home into little bite-sized chunks. So really good place to start is your clothes. Because oh. you can actually, it can cause stress if, you, if you're that sort of person, if you don't like it and you see it as a mess, you yeah. see it as a chore, it can be quite stressful. Absolutely, a massive amount of anxiety. People see it as really, really overwhelming, um, especially when I say, again, it, when you look at it as one giant yeah. job to get yeah. done in the weekend, you don't have to do it like that. So let's start oh, bit the by bit. This is, I'm all ears here. My wardrobe yes. is a joke. Okay. I just, I can barely get things out of it and in it. Yeah. It's just cluttered. So, some really good tips are, number one, these boxes are fantastic. I take everything out of my wardrobe that I only wear on holiday, not in the London summer, only wear on holiday, put that in a completely separate box. So when it comes to packing for holiday, you've got your suitcase out, you can bring a box down. It clears space from your daily wardrobe as mm, well, which idea. is a really good idea. Same with seasonal items. If you haven't got a big space, um, a big wardrobe space, then move anything out that you're not going to wear for the next six months. You know, big jackets on big hangers, um, take those all out, fold them up and get them away, or even in a different room, in a different wardrobe, somewhere else that isn't in your day-to-day day day life. Yeah, you okay. want to be able to see exactly what you've got. What about this shoe situation that's the making you want to break out into sweat? It's not fun. Again, a lot of your shoes are seasonal. You know, open-toed ones for summer, bigger boots for winter, get them away, get them out of your space. Um, and if you're embarking on a new, which everyone does when the sun comes out, health regime, um, fitness project, something like that, make sure your trainers and your workout wear are somewhere really obvious. You know that split second where you decide whether you're going for a run or not? You can see your trainers, you're much more likely to get dressed Damn it, and that's get out blown the, the excuse, that, isn't it? No Pop excuses shoes. now. <laughs> Can't go. Shelves and drawers. Shelves and drawers. So... Oh, look at this. It's like a shop. Yes. You can fit <gasps> the contents of two drawers, sometimes three, into one drawer if you just get your folding right. So wow. these, you can see everything when they're folded vertically. Closed filing, I like to call it. If everything is on top of each other, like so, in a drawer, then the likelihood if, is if you've got a big pile, you're never going to use the stuff at no, the bottom. True. You just don't remember it's there. So folding vertically is a really good way. Um, of putting clothes away and obviously it depends on the space you've got. So how do you fold like that? What's, what's your... So it's basically the same as any normal folding but all you're doing is turning folding it upside it again. down and putting it into two or three depending on how deep your drawers are. Okay, that's so very that's good. That. You can do it with jeans um, and also going through what you don't need anymore. It's not just about seasonal items, mm. it's also about do you wear it anymore, do you like it anymore, does it make you feel good? All the obvious questions but if your clothes stress you out, don't just say to yourself, I'm having a declutter. Say to yourself, can I live without this? And that's a better way of looking what, at it what sometimes. What do you do when you go, oh, one day I might fit into that again? Then you be selective. Oh. Then, you, then you give yourself one small box and say, I might fit, it, fit into these items again, but limit it to a small box. OK. So that's the one that's got on that box, you label that hope. Yeah. <laughs> hope. Future. Or dream on. <laughs> Never going to happen. Something what about toys? Positive. 